Hello world, uh, this is a video response to Coco and Me's Ask an Asian, uh, Tall Girls. Uh, this will also be addressing some of the issues that Harana uh, did as a response to Ask an Asian uh, as well. And uh, I just wanted to elaborate a bit more on some of the points that Coco and me did. Uh, I totally agree with what he said in terms of the foundations and the basics that he laid out for uh, why men or Asian guys are attracted to taller girls. We don't really have a problem with them and we don't really have a problem with shorter women. Uh, I think that Asian guys pretty much like all women, but I could just be speaking for myself. Um, and I'm going to go over the issues of whether or not, you know, it's it's a matter of being shallow or if it's a, a preference issue. Uh, so let me get started here. Um, Coco and me mentioned that one of the couplings was the man and child uh, excuse me not man and child but the mom and child uh, pair and that's how society can see the couple going down the, sh the, the street and yell out freak and weirdo and stuff like that and to some extent you know it can be it, ha it does have that cutesy factor but it also has the stigma of a cradle robber um, and it just goes into social standards and norms of what it means, the image of being a man, what it means to be a man uh, and just the issue of beauty and attractiveness in our culture uh, and, I, and I'm going to speak from the the male perspective and for just all short guys and just Asian guys as well. Um, manhood, I guess, the this, this stage is, you know, a, a boy, a teen, and then the man. And with each stage of life, there's supposedly a height threshold that you need to meet to be qualified or deemed as a man or to reach that stage of life and if you really don't meet that threshold you're really not seen as a man and so that's one of the factors the other is our notion that tall dark and handsome or tall blonde and blue eyes you know or insert whatever color eyes here um, is the standards and the and the the definition of attractiveness and if you're really not that you're really not a man and you're really not attractive and so that's the other thing that's working against uh, guys when when discussing the topic of why we don't see as many short guys with taller women or Asian men and, and taller women is that impedance, that stigma that I feel that's ingrained in training women uh, for them growing up all, all, all of their lives and that's their image and notion of how it should be that that's how their ideal partner should be so that's uh, contributing to the ratio of why we don't really see that specific pair of coupling between relationships and and people. Um, going on into the shallow and preferences, um, we all have preferences to what we would like in our ideal partner. Uh, the looks, the physical features, hair, eye color, uh, body shapes and sizes. And I want to say that those are superficial features. 
because you can always get a haircut, dye your hair, style it, uh, get different color contacts for your eyes. Um, you can diet and exercise to lose weight or gain weight, uh, depending on how that goes. But the things that you really can't change are the skin color and a person's height. And to really be di discriminating against the height of a person or their skin color, yeah, I think that's quite shallow. Because a person can't really take pills or ex diet and exercise to really get taller. It's, g it's genetics and, her and heredity that really controls that. And uh, so if you really can't be with a person but but really like them because let's say that they're successful they're stable they're cute funny and they're everything that you're looking for in a partner but they don't meet the height requirement yeah I think that's kind of shallow uh, but at the same time there is some truth that it's also a, a matter of preference as well but speaking from personal e experience, uh, I'll say that I'm only five feet tall and I attribute that to my background because I'm part Vietnamese and part Chinese and the shorter side of me is from the uh, Vietnamese genes and historically the Asian race hasn't really been a really tall race. Uh, it's like Coco and me said, you know, not all of us is can be like Yao Ming, he's one man. Uh, so with that, I mean, in college, I've always been called breast height, you know, and, and it's true because, you know, with most girls being around 5'6", five, 5'7", five, 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 or 6 feet tall, you know, I really do come up to their breast and it's great when I get a chance to hug them, but they don't really give me the chance to use my design and the way I was architected to till its fullest potential, uh, I guess you could say. And they always want to hug me by bending over or kneeling or bending their knees or something. I'm just like, no, just just stand up and hug me, you know. So. Uh, that's just one of those cases, but I mean that those the reasons that I gave I want to say that those are there's so much stigma surrounding why we don't see it and it's not so much a fact that Asian guys don't like tall girls I feel that it's kind of the opposite way that we just have that stigma and that hindrance of social norms and values and our perspective and I guess the taller women, their personal preference and standards of not being open enough to dating short of dating shorter guys. And the shorter guys, I don't feel that they need to have any kind of holdbacks to dating taller women, aside from their self-esteem issue that they feel better if they date shorter girls. But for guys within the range of, you know, five five to five feet tall you really don't have an option of finding shorter women so the circumstances is not really by choice so I'll just leave it at that so thank you for watching